ओके वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एम एल ई वर्सेज ओ एल एस एस्टिमेट सो इसेंशली विल बी टचिंग अपॉन वाट इज ओ एल एस एस्टिमेट वाट इज एम एल ई एस्टिमेट एंड द सीनेरियो वेर एम एल एस्टिमेट इज सेम एच ओ एल एस एस्टिमेट प्लीज नोट अप टू ग्रेट एक्सटेंट आई एम गोइंग टू एज्यूम दैट ओ एल एस इज ऑलरेडी क्लियर टू यू विल टच अपॉन एम एल ई द फोकस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रेजेंटेशन is the scenario where ml estimate is same as ols estimate and this particular presentation is being followed by likelihood ratio where the concept of what we are going to discuss here it's going to be used so let's have some background let's assume that a particular big university which has 1 million students in class 11th now we are interested in studying relationship between their heights and their weights of the students so now it is difficult to actually call all 1 million students get their height and weight so what we are going to do we are going to take say 1000 students randomly selected and then we are going to study their height and weight and then try to find some relationship between them let's assume that when we plot them the graph looks very much the way it is looking here now what is ols estimate ols estimate essentially is that particular line which minimizes the sum of square distance of errors so what is square distance essentially if you see these are the observed points these are the observed points now for any given x the point at this particular line is actually your predicted line where it is cutting that particular point is a predicted line predicted value now the difference between these two so essentially when we are saying this difference this is the difference this is of observed value this is predicted value what we are trying to do is trying to minimize the square we are squaring it and then summing it up and then we are trying to minimize this square sum of errors so essentially this is the error this observed minus predicted you are squaring it summing it for all the observations and after that you are trying to minimize this so essentially ols is that particular line which minimizes the square of the error sum square of the error from the predicted line okay what is mle mle maximum likelihood estimate it's that particular assumed value of the population parameter which maximizes the probability of obtaining a sample obtaining the sample that has been observed now you know let's let's understand a bit how do you understand a population a population is defined you know or in other words a population is well understood by its parameter so what is its parameter you know let's say if the frequency distribution if following a normal distribution then it is defined by its mean and standard deviation please note in case of a normal distribution the moment we know its mean and standard deviation we know everything that is required to explain now what is the probability of obtaining a sample of size n you know when you say probability of a sample of size n for a given population parameter let's say the population is following normal distribution then it is nothing but the joint probability of observing all the n points if the population would have that particular value of parameter so let's say if the mean and standard deviation is given then each observation each n data points that you are getting there is a particular probability of that now when you multiply probability of all the n data points that you then you get the joint probability and maximum likelihood estimate is essentially that particular value of population parameter for which the probability of obtaining a sample so essentially the joint probability of obtaining all the n data points is maximum so let's come back to the 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 point the background once again so here in this particular uh, scenario the assumed value of parameter and the population is 1 million so essentially the po assumed population of assumed value of population parameter say intercept and 
slope that maximizes the probability of obtaining the sample data that has been observed will be the ml estimate so essentially what we are trying to say let's say if all the these you know these are the predicted values if the actual object this is the predicted value if the actual observations are following normal distribution around the predicted value then essentially if the actual observed, observed values are normally and identically distributed with mean and please understand the mean here is given by a which is the slope sorry intercept plus b into x x is that particular value any for any particular value of x the mean is given by a plus b x and let's say if the population is following normal distribution around this particular at each uh, predicted value with variance sigma square then probability of observing such a sample will be given by joint probability where a plus b x gives you mean for x1 the first observation and sigma square gives you standard deviation then what is the probability of obtaining y1 similarly for a plus b x2 mean and x a sigma square standard deviation variance what is the probability of obtaining y2 these are the individual probability when you multiply all of them it's nothing but the joint probability but please note in case of normal distribution it is actually given by the distribution is given by 1 by sigma root 2 pi e to the power minus y minus y bar whole square by 2 sigma square now this particular thing here is nothing but y bar because for all these y the mean is given by a plus b x i for any given x so essentially y i minus y bar this particular rep term represents y bar so essentially now this is the this is nothing but the the probability fun function of uh, normal distribution so the joint probability will be given by each multiplication or the likelihood function will be given by so essentially I am writing for y1 y2 and this is will keep doing till yn now if you think of this term it's you know it just get will get multiplied n times and as you know e to the power x plus into e to the power y is given by e to the power x plus y so essentially when we apply this particular thing what you are getting this particular term is coming any way n times so it is nothing but this to the power n into and as I told you e to the power x into e to the power y is given by e to the power x plus y and that's how you are getting the sum here now if you take it log why we are taking log just to solve it make it easy when we take odd log what you see n by 2 is coming and just simple it's when you take log this is the form of the equation that you get now let's take some time and go through this particular function once again you know this is what we have got just keep in mind what is this actually just remember the formula that we have just now discussed about the OLS now this is nothing but actual observed value and this is nothing but the y bar the mean value so essentially y i is the observed value and this particular thing is nothing but y predicted so essentially this y i minus y predicted and when you square it it is nothing but the error so and you just keep second thing in mind this is coming with the negative sign so when you want and keep in mind you know minimum error will come when will mean maximum likelihood is log likelihood why think of it is coming negative so when the error is minimum you are reducing minimum from whatever you are getting so essentially it means this is maximum let's say when it is 500 or it is 600 so when error is 600 you will be minusing 600 by 2 so 300 when error is 500 you will be minusing subtracting actually 500 by 2 so 250 so essentially when you are subtracting just 250 obviously this particular value is will be bigger by 50 then when you are subtracting 300 so the minimum error will mean you know when it is minimum it will mean maximum log likelihood 
now second thing minimum error occurs when it is ols so and log likelihood function log is actually monotonic monotonically linked with general so log likelihood function is monotonically linked with likelihood function so it means minimum error will mean ols estimate and then minimum error ols means minimum error and minimum error means maximum log likelihood and maximum log likelihood means maximum likelihood so in short if the actual observations are following normal distribution around the mean ml estimate is same as ols estimate you can view likelihood ratio concept in this particular channel thank you